Hey guys, back again already. Uh, just while I'm on a roll, I thought I might um, give you a really quick video on how to put something new onto your screen. So, like we did in the first video, we'll go, we'll just launch straight into it. We'll go straight into design mode. There's our design box. We'll go to the same module we were doing before, which was the default flight module. It has been mentioned that uh, you don't you're doing custom screens, you don't need to have them divided up into flight, engine, fuel, etc. Uh, that's quite right. Um, you can have everything just on the flight module screen if you want. Um, MGL have just decided that with their defaults in particular, that that's the way they were going to do it. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to. So we'll go to the default flight module, full radio panel on top, which is the one we've got set up here. And there's our list of stuff. And they say I've just been sleeping on it. And you know what? I really did want that ECB functional uh, push button um, icon there. So I want to put it back. Um, silly me, I didn't save my last screen file anywhere on a USB drive or on my computer anywhere. So it's, it's gone forever. I'm going to have to put it back manually. So let's do that. Not that hard. Um, what we need to do is we need to come over to the item library and find where it is. I've already got it selected up here, it's under the general tab and it's called a functional icon. So uh, let's put it in. So we can put it in before something or after something or append means just sticking it at the bottom of this list. Um, you can use this list to just organise stuff in an eye pleasing manner and as I said it does have some effect on the on the draw order, I can't explain exactly how the software is designed to work in that respect, but I know it has an effect because I've seen it when I've been playing around with things. But for this, I don't think it's going to matter. It's it's out of the way. It's not really overlaid on anything much except the horizon. So let's put it in after the at, at the bottom of the list of these functional icons here. So I'll highlight the last one. I've highlighted functional icon and I'm going to press the after button and there it is. It's inserted a functional icon icon holder. Now I don't want an icon holder, I want the ECB one. Um, but this is just a default setting. I, I'm going to change this in a second and I'll show you how to do that. So we need to move the position of it and we need to change it to an ECB one. So how I'm going to do that, um, I want it right next to the weight and balance one back where it used to be and at exactly the same level so it doesn't kind of look odd like all pilots, I'm anally retentive and um, being a professional pilot in my career I'm extra anally retentive so I'm going to make sure it's exactly the same level as that weight balance icon so it doesn't annoy me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out what level the weight what the Y coordinate of the weight balance icon is. So I'm going to select weight balance. And there it is there. I'm going to double click on that and look at its properties. So it's its Y coordinate is 362. So it's 362 down the screen. How far it is across doesn't really matter at the moment. So I just need to remember 362. Okay, I'll get out of that and um, I'm going to go back to the icon holder here which is this one and I want to move this to a Y coordinate of 362 so it's exactly the same level. So as I said in the previous video the outer buttons here move at 10 and the inner buttons move at a single pixel so I need to go to 362 so I'm just going to keep clicking on the um, down button until I get to 360 and then I need to move it another two. There's 360. If I do it again it's going to go to 370 because it's only increments of 10 which isn't going to help me. So 360, I want it down 362. There it is. Now that icon is on exactly the same level as the weight balance one. All I need to do now is shift it across to just a, a 
nice button distance away from from uh, the weight balance one. Um, look, that looks fairly good to me. You can double check what the X coordinate is if you want and move it a precise number, but that looks pretty good. Um, now, we said before it defaults to icon holder. We don't want an icon holder. We, we want it back to be the uh, ECB icon. So we scroll down here. It's drop down box of all the different icons you can have. We want the ECB. I'm going to select that. And there it is. ECB, exactly the same level as the weight and balance. Just a, a reasonable distance apart, and you can you can be more precise if you want. And I'm going to click OK. And there it is. Another minor thing um, I might show you is uh, something like text. A lot of these things are just text. You might want to label. Uh, a gauge. Um, text is something that can either be uh, dynamic, so it could be a reading, um, or just a f or just fixed text. An example is this OAT here on the screen. OAT, it, it's just three letters. Um, it never moves. It never changes. It's it just always sits there. And what text is? in the screen designer it's called unitext so unitext is just a fixed word or abbreviation or whatever that appears on your screen that never changes so if i want to insert some sort of text somewhere and uh, use it as a label or, or something similar then that's what i need to select and that is in the item library under text items you've got three selections here you've got text special item uh, units, which is self-explanatory, degrees Celsius or or PSI or whatever, uh, and text universal. So unitext is text universal. That's the, that's the same thing. That's what it is. So let's insert some universal text somewhere just because we can. Um, we can append it anywhere we like on in this list. It, it really probably doesn't matter. Um, let's just stick it under the OAT item. Um, so there's our uni text. Now, where is it? It, it just inserts it at, in a default position, usually at the top left corner here. Um, and then we have to move it around the screen. So, what do we want it to say? I don't know doesn't really matter. Let's double click on it and we can write whatever we like there. Um, I'm going to type something fairly pointless here. And we can change the, the font uh, we can write it on the background. That's usually uh, preferable to write it on the background. That's that's um, an explanation for another day. There's a background and a foreground in these screens. Um, something something that really doesn't change uh, ever is generally better off on the background if if it displays properly. Sometimes you may have to put it on the foreground um, uh, to get it to show, uh, depending on the order that things are, are drawn on the screen. Anyway, we'll write it on a background here, and um, just as my little reminder, put it somewhere I can see it. I'm just randomly scrolling down and across here. There we are, and that's our uni text. And we can, um, as I say, change the size of that. Uh, there's limited selections in the size, but it can go down. From quite large to quite small, uh, you've got Arial font there, um, a courier font if you want that. Generally, Arial's the nicest sort of font to use, and um, you can play around with those to your heart's content. You can change the colour of the text. Um, you can write it vertically. There's just a box here which um, will change it to vertical, like I've just done there back again and click OK and there it is. That'll be on your screen. 
fixed in that position all the time. So that's just uh, just another quick and dirty on um, inserting stuff in the screen. There's a lot of items here uh, in the item library uh, that take some time to get to know where they are and, and what's what. Uh, it's just a matter of going through everything and, um, and figuring out what you want. The most common things you generally tend to put in are you know, instruments and change those around. You might change from dials to line bar graphs and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, the general uh, tab is for various different um, art, uh, icons. Uh, you can uh, put drawing primitives. Drawing primitives are like the shading that you see in, in some of the boxes. Um, touch areas, you know, if you want to uh, put something on a, on a touch area and, and have it selectable to change something. Uh, and of course your text items. So there you go, that's just a, another quick intro to um, putting something on the screen that wasn't previously there, inserting something new onto the screen, and you can do that with absolutely anything. Thanks very much, and I'll see you again next time.